everyone, so today is a little bit of a unique video. It's gonna start with a get ready with me as I put on some of my makeup. I'm gonna finish my makeup off camera, do a little bit of vlogging, and so you can see kind of what I do in an average day. And then at the end of the day, we're gonna talk about the makeup, and specifically, this guy right here. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. It should not be new to you if you watch my channel. This video is sponsored by Estee Lauder and I'm super excited to be working with a brand that has been part of my makeup collection for as long as I can remember. This is a classic and it is in fact the number one best-selling foundation in the United States. I'll tell you a little bit more about the foundation and a concealer that we're gonna be talking about in a minute as I put it on, but this is the fun part. So for years, I thought I was shade accrue in the summer and shade 1N1, I can't remember what the name of that one is, but I'll put it below, in more of the fall, winter. And when I had to go get a new bottle for this video, I kept insisting, it's gonna be a crew, it's gonna be a crew. On the Estee Lauder website, they have a virtual try-on tool where you can go right on the site. It has to be on, on, on your phone or an iPad, something mobile. You just hold it up like the camera, you put it right to your face and it'll kind of do a little thing and then ask you a couple of questions and tell you what shade you are. I'll keep talking while I apply. Well, the funny thing was, I did it six times. I did it six times under different lights because I just wasn't believing the answer. It kept coming out with 2N1, which is desert beige, which is what I have right here. And I just kept saying, it can't be right, it can't be right. But the thing keeps telling me this over and over again, so I'm just gonna go with it. Got my bottle. Of course, it's a perfect match. The crew is just a little too, I guess, warm for me. Let's talk a little bit about this guy. So it retails for $43 that I've known and it's been that price for a good long time. I think I'm going to start with this and then maybe go over with a sponge. Let's see. And I know I use too much because a little of this goes a long way. Anyway, so $43, 56 shades. They expanded the shade range not too long ago. So trust me, there is a shade for everyone, but it's, that virtual try-on thing is right. I mean, I literally did it six times. I did it in the morning, I did it in the evening, I did it sitting on my family room couch, I did it sitting at the kitchen table where I am now in full sunlight. I tried it outside. Every time it came back with the same response and being stubborn, I was like, no, that can't be right. It goes on so beautifully, it's just, there's a reason it's the number one seller. Let me tell you some things about it. So, 24 hours, color true, meaning not oxidizing on you. Non-creasing, non-pouring, non-streaking, non-caking, non-settling. It's oil controlling, oil free, matte finish, but it's not a flat matte. I mean, this is, you can see, I still have a skin-like appearance. It's not a flat matte. Here's the kicker for me. This time of year, sweat and humidity proof. I really think we're good here, but, I did want to go over it. I really like using it with a beauty blender. Just to get it everywhere. And I thought it would be fun to put it through its paces as I do my everyday stuff. So today is cleaning day, which means the laundry, on the bed, changing out the bedding, dusting, vacuuming, all that fun stuff. Y'all know what that means. So I have some errands to run. You can come along with me. So I hop in and out of the car in 95 degree heat. I have to get some cooking in, all that stuff. And then at the end of the day, I'll check in with you and we'll see how this performed. Now the other product we're gonna focus on today, obviously also from Estee Lauder, is the Double Wear Radiant Concealer. This comes in 22 shades and it is $29. It is maximum to full coverage. I'm wearing it in the shade 0.5N for under my eyes. This I did not know about it. So this has nourishing botanical extracts like chia, kukui nut oil. So it's really good for under the eyes, but you can also use it because there's so many shades. You can also use it uh, to contour, to highlight, to cover blemishes. And I also picked it up in another shade. I got it in 1N, light neutral. And I'm looking to see if there are actually any blemishes that need covering. The coverage on this foundation is fabulous. 
I probably could have gone to two in, but I was too stubborn and did not want to believe that I would bumped up to a two level. I put a little around my nose. And since this does highlight, and this is a little light, I'll put some there. Kind of do a little reverse contour. Let's do that part first. This actually works out perfectly, actually. That was a good match. All right, so before I go on and finish the rest of my face, eyeshadow, lipstick, blush, bronzer, all that stuff, I just want you to get a good look at a full face of Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation and the Radiant Concealer. Here's how it's looking, a fresh first thing in the morning. And I'll pop back in to show you the finished face and then I need to start cleaning my house. I'll be right back. All right, makeup is all done. All the details will be down in the description box. I didn't do any setting spray or finishing powder, and I know this might look like a bit much to clean the house and do work, but I am gonna leave the house a little bit later, so I decided let's just put all of it on. So let's get to work. It's time to change the sheets and do all that. Come on with me, it's very glamorous stuff. artichoke hearts, hearts of palm, I think that's it. And I'm just gonna add a few other goodies to this. Leftovers are always good for, I love leftovers for lunch. Make a pretty good amount there. And then I'm just gonna add a few things to make it even yummier. So I have some rotisserie chicken that I just picked up that I'm just going to add a little more protein. Okay, a lot more protein. Although the chickpeas have a ton in there as well, and so does the quinoa. I have some cucumbers from last night's dinner. We did sort of like Mediterranean bowls, really good. It was chickpea rice, which is fabulous if you've ever tried it. And then I just layered the um, chopped onions and chopped tomatoes, chopped cucumbers, olives, feta cheese, hummus, Greek yogurt. It was delicious. For even more protein and flavor, I'm just gonna do a little dollop, but it's probably more like two tablespoons of hummus on the top. And then I cannot get enough feta. Now I'm doing faster weight and they recommend dairy free, but I am making a mess instead. But I am not doing dairy free. I don't eat a lot of dairy, but I still eat cheese. And then just for even more flavor, a little bit of balsamic, just a little. I actually want to add a little bit of olives as well. These are just sliced Kalamata. I'm going to dig in. I am starving and I will check back in in a little bit. All right, lunch break is over. I know that salad looked enormous, but, well, it was. It covered a lot of uh, area on the plate, but it was mostly veggies. It was super filling and I am probably good until dinner time. Haven't quite figured out what that's going to be yet. Anyway, now it's... Time to sit down and get some work done. I have like oh, three videos I need to edit, some thumbnail stuff, description boxes, working on some collages, fun and exciting things, not really. So I'm not gonna vlog that, but I just wanted to say that I'm getting emails and that the makeup still looks exactly the way it looked when I put it on. Obviously lipstick is gone because I just ate, but I'm gonna get to work and then hopefully get outside a little bit, run some errands, get a little fresh air 
and then we'll wrap this day up. All right, I'm all masked up and I'm ready to just run in and do some returns, maybe a little shopping, might hit the grocery store, I'm trying to figure out what to eat for dinner. I didn't really plan about dinner, but so far the makeup has not budged. Really impressed. So I'm looking at my watch. It says it is 96 degrees outside, which is why I'm stalling in the car, but I'm gonna hop in, run some errands, pop back in, take all my gear off my face. Oh, I'm steaming up. And uh, we'll check in on how the makeup's doing. Okay, I was in the store because I ran into people I knew for like an hour. And so I'm, let's go home. It's, it's just too hot to be outside. Hey everyone, it is 7.15. I have had a full face of makeup on for almost nine hours and getting a little tired. Woke up pretty early today and I wanna do my final check-in and final thoughts. So just to tell you what I've done since I put my makeup on, nothing as far as no touching up, no touching up with powder, no setting spray, nothing. I put on some lip balm, but that's about it. So this is what the makeup looks like with the foundation and the concealer. I am very impressed. I thought the shade match was dead on. I highly recommend doing the virtual try on on a mobile device. It was so accurate. I just, I can't even, I'm just so pleased that I have a new shade and it, and it works really well. I love the finish. It's not a flat matte that I was afraid might be the case, especially when you have the right shade. You still have a beautiful skin-like finish, but it's just that much better. I think this would be great for current conditions as far as it's very hot where I am, very humid, very sweaty. It's great with putting a mask on and off. I was wearing one for well over an hour. It was pretty hot. I was actually feeling myself perspire under the mask. You can't tell, like not even on my chin. Nothing, nothing has worn off. A little bit maybe right here because I do find myself rubbing my eyes and I do find myself constantly doing this. So, but even for that, I'm trying to lean in a little more. It's, it looks really good. So, if you are curious about trying the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation or the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer, I heartily recommend both of them, and I especially recommend the virtual try-on. I thought that was just amazing and so cool. I do hope you enjoyed this little time with me today. One of the reasons I don't vlog as much as I used to is because there's not that much to document. I'm either cleaning the house or sitting in front of a computer for hours at a time or cooking. So. When something more interest comes up, I will definitely pull out the camera and document that for you. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed our time together. Let me know your experiences with Estee Lauder Double Wear, the foundation, the concealer, what shade you wear. Have you tried the virtual try-on? I'd love to know. All right, now it's time to get my pizza out of the oven. Pretty low-key dinner tonight, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. This video was sponsored by Estee Lauder. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to read the description box for more details.